Hi everyone, welcome back to UiPath Tutorials. So this video is all about how to rename a column. In the earlier video, we have talked about how to filter the data from the Excel file and put it into the next sheet that is the output. So today we will do the same thing, but the thing is, we are not going to filter anything. We are just going to rename the sheet data. So this is a sheet which don't have the headers so I just want that when I'm going to put this data into the output file the file should contain the headers so for that I use one sequence and in that I use the scope application I go in the path I use the read range activity and in that I just uncheck the add headers button I put that into output into the DT my Excel just after that I just use a invoke code activity so this activity help to rename the columns so by default as I have removed the add headers in the read range activity so by default we are going to create the columns from column 0 one two in this way as we have a two column here so we will by default create column zero and column one so in place of column zero I have just put name in place of column one I have just put age so before this just click on the add argument button this is the output of read range activity dp my excel i have given the the name i use the in out direction add data table and again dt my excel so this name can be changed it depends uh, whatever you uh, find is suitable you can give the name so i just suggest that use the same name that whatever you are using in the main xml file so that should be passed in the info code also so I'm passing this whole DP my Excel to this DT my Excel. Then I'm going to edit code. So this is DT my Excel. Dot columns. Dot column. This is the syntax. You can see this. In this way. Now my DT my DT my Excel. The columns will be changed with this with the help of this code. And just after this, I use a another scope application and in that right range I just put all the DT and I've changed the sheet name output this is blank for now I'm just closing it so when I'm running this Let me open the Excel. What I stopped. You can see this was my sheet one, and now this is the output. I have the header name and age in this. So with the help of this info code, we can just change the rename. We can just rename our columns. So thanks for watching my videos and subscribe my channel. Thanks.